It's a lot of honey there. Oh, yeah. See, these frames are so much easier to extract. Than whenever you uh, you're cut just the... knocking the bees off. Mm -hmm. If you don't make them mad, the whole process works a little bit easier, you know. Uh -huh. I try not to upset, upset them. Upset, yeah. See, whenever we get done, I'll just go ahead and stand Switch it up. And... Yep. Replace the new ones in there. Have you ever taken frames out of a hive like this before? No. Do you want me to try? <laughs> I don't want to drop any. All right, I'm ready. Just like the other one there, I don't want to pull any frames that have any... Uh... Babies on mm -hmm. them. <laughs> Leave the babies and pull the honey. Mm -hmm. The best way to do that is to put uh, queen excluders. To put what? Queen, queen excluders. Queen excluders? Yeah, see, this one has eggs on it. When you look down in there, you see all that little gray uh, matter. Sure. Yeah, that, those are eggs in there. Uh-huh. That's, that's what you want to see. Now here's a good frame probably we can pull. Mm -hmm. you see this oh, that's a here's, good amount of honey. Yeah. You see, they've already got it good and capped, <laughs> so I can slide another frame in there. And, just scrape them off. Mm -hmm. Alright, that's a good amount. I'll slide this one right in this box right here. This is supposed to be like a, a choreographed dance you have with the bees. But sometimes I don't have the music and I have to like uh, kind of <laughs> fudge it a little bit sometimes. Uh-huh. See, this is a fat frame right here. I would think the second one on the left is, is a big one. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, this one is big. Look at it. Yeah, it's so big that it has like a fat, kind of like a... Wider? Mm-hmm. What I want to do, do, do too is not to hurt the. Uh, sometimes the queen will be on there, mm -hmm. so I don't want to hurt her. No, and the bees won't be happy. Yeah, then they get really mad when I hurt her. Uh, queen. Yeah. So see, right now I've already taken one, two, three, four, five, six, eight frames. So that's, okay. that's a lot of honey I've taken off. Yep. <laughs> I think maybe I'll maybe pull one more frame and then just mm -hmm. close Leave these that one back up. Okay. Does that one look like a lot? Since they're building more up there. Let me see how this frame here works. <laughs> Sometimes they're harder to get out. Uh -huh. so I'll still probably take more honey off here, but I wonder like that one. What I'm trying to do is <laughs> see that's that's a, a frame that they started uh, See, there's the queen right here. Yep. See the queen. And you just have to see how much bigger she is than the yep. other bees. Mm -hmm. And when you sure see her, you, you really try to just leave them alone. Yeah, put her back in there without like uh, hurting her. Mm -hmm. Hold that frame. Right there. Yep. Hold this okay. This is one of these games of uh, whatever you do. Just, you just don't hurt the queen. Yeah, don't hurt the queen. take that drone brood and take that out and I can eliminate a bunch of uh, mm -hmm. that queen must have just went right back in. You don't see her? 
<laughs> See, sometimes they're really, uh, they're shy and they'll uh, go right back into the hive because they don't like to, they don't like to be fooled around with. Yeah. Well, I'm going to put this one back on. Okay. And then we're done with that one. All right. What do you think? I think I'm going to pull probably another thing. See, if I just put plastic frames in there, it would probably cause a problem for them. You know, like I'm doing this, they can get right to putting honey back in, they don't have to stop and uh, make wax. Mm -hmm. Mess up with their routine. Yeah, it, it goofs up their. Uh, So see, this is just a, a half frame. Oh yeah, just half. Yep. But I'll, I'll put one of these frames that has like a wax, wax. already drawn out on it. And they'll really appreciate that. Okay. It will take some time for them to build the wax. Do you want to put this one back in? Yeah. Okay. I'm not used to having pulp, so it's really nice. To... One on each side. Some of these are older frames, but you'll be surprised how they clean them up. <laughs> See, sometimes you have to take take this scrap out? Yeah, this, this is just wax that uh, okay. they'll actually put a whole frame of uh, Okay, they build one for their own. Mm -hmm. Do you want me to take it out? Mm -hmm. Do I just grab it? Mm -hmm. Wow. Mm -hmm. Sometimes they actually have some brood in there. And that's why sometimes I'll just save those and put those in, you know, like a, another frame. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. I have like hives at the house that are just for all the little miss, uh, little bits of it. Miss cues that they do. <laughs> in other words, there's a hive that will take care of all those little things like that. Mm -hmm. But you just have to bring the wax. Yep. What I'll do is I'll just put this over here on top of this one hive. Mm -hmm. Unless you put the lid on. Yeah, this will just go right back in here. Now. Whenever I get done uh, pulling the uh, honey out of this here, I can go ahead and blow the rest of the room. So far, they've been pretty happy. Mm -hmm. Let's keep it that way. <laughs> How many frames do we have? Do we have five more? Six, five, six. I'm just checking to see if I see any uh, mm -hmm. in the bottom. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'll give them a little... Smoke. Smokey smoke. Does it seem like it's a uh, calm... Uh, Honey pool here. Uh huh. Let's see how this frame here looks. Okay. This might be a frame of brood. Oh, it's bigger. Mm -hmm. Longer. Can you see it? That's just a real honey frame right there. Uh huh. But they haven't capped it yet. You see, they're getting ready to put some eggs in there. Yeah. I'll go ahead and put this one back. Okay. I can hold on to this one. Okay. okay. You have it? Yep, we got it. 
can feel the vibration under my clothes. Oh, look, look at that. That's the one we saw the other day. This is just kind like, of like a, a, a medium frame. Uh-huh. They can build up more if they want. Mm -hmm. I'm still trying to see if I see the queen at the same time. If you find her. Okay, I'll let you know. You can probably spot the queen faster than I do. Well, you'd be surprised. <laughs> I've had people that uh, are really good at it. And Just identifying them. Mm -hmm. If you watch the bees sometimes, they'll actually uh, get out of the way of the queen when she's walking on the frame. Uh, they know what you're doing. Mm -hmm. Just to build up the bottom part. Do you want this one? I don't know. This they can use this more This one's not capped right here, so uh -huh. I'm going to go ahead and just, just leave it probably in. put this one back. and. I'm going to look on the other side and see if I see anything over there. Okay. Yeah. We can switch. You're not happy. That one needs more. Mm -hmm. More time. Way more. They have to build wax on it first. Yeah, they, this one here is just like a Y. You have to mix in the, uh, the drawing frames with the, the wax frames. Uh-huh. The second you pull them, you kind of know probably. This mm -hmm. is heavier. Yeah, some of them are so heavy you can hardly even pull them out. I'm glad I'm looking here because I, I can give them more room, you know, like the, more time to work on this, and then that way they won't really uh, have to, you know, build as much wax. Uh huh. So we change just two spots over here. I got it. You got it? Mm -hmm. I can move this one over. Or you can switch it over. How do you think the bottom ones look? The bottom height? I'm going to probably leave them in. Because these are still not bad. Look, the best thing that you can learn when you're doing this mm -hmm. is to decide really quickly what you're going to do. Yep. Back up and then make quick decisions. And make up. See, they'll actually pull them down right now. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I hear them. I think I hear them louder than the other hives there. This is just about where I expected. Mm hmm Pretty good. Jeff got me this honey. He says it's raspberry honey. I'm going to try if I can taste the raspberry. Well, thank you for watching, y'all.